تكبر على ماذا؟ يقول بعض اهل العلم يا ابن ادم تتكبر على ماذا؟ وانت قد خرجت من مخرج البول مرتين. من ابيك في منيه ومن امك في ولادتك. تكبر على ماذا؟ Somali food, new place with the one and only. Come on, bro. Let this brother get married. Is this sir with the brothers? This is hard. Apparently not. So today it's like admin day, that's what I call it basically. So essentially what it is, is that once every three months I've got that one day where I have to do a million things that are not the most productive things, but I just have to do them. So this morning I had to go and do some of the admin stuff for whatever it's called for medical school. So basically we're going into hospital placements and GP placements from like basically next week or the week after. So then I had to do all of this little um, coursework type of stuff, if that's what you want to call it, and then submit that and that takes hours. And then straight after that, literally, I had to go shopping. I don't really like to go shopping. Like, I like to do everything online. But I had to go in person, buy so many things. Ended up taking two hours. Then I had to go get a fresh trim. And now I'm back and I need to go and get hijama done. So this is the first time I'm actually doing cupping. I've never done it before. And, uh, you know, kind of excited to do it. And uh, basically, that's my whole morning gone doing a bunch of not the most productive thing i guess so inshallah once i'm back i'm going to be banging out some of these books i'm just going to be studying and also guys if you guys do want to get any new books go on the website darul salam and then use our code muslim free connect 10 to get that 10 percent off these are some of the books i've studied and read and now we're just trying to memorize all of them and then there's a bunch of other books here as well you guys have no clue how bad my hay fever is literally i'm gonna have to take like where is it i'm gonna have to take like two of these a day and that's mad and that is probably not enough but well, you guys know this is my favorite italian drink i generally prefer taking the bus over the train because i can actually study on the bus for an hour mm. 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 I've got something like this at home. Bro, I bought it and I used it maybe twice in like two years. <laughs> the difference is that the dry cup in the sunnah, work up in the sunnah, okay. first action, right down to the mm -hmm. blood lane. And then there's just obviously a removal of blood, that extraction of blood. Bro, this looks like one of the Spanish men chambers from like <laughs> the 17th century, man. All right, I'll firm it. Inshallah. You'll have to, man. Right? Make your knee, yeah? make your intention that inshallah yep. this is gonna, it's gonna help you. Really. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, that there is three things there is a cure in. Sharbati asalin wa sharbati mihjam wa kayyati nari anha ummati anil kay. Basically, he's saying one of them is cupping. So, obviously, we're doing wet cupping, which is pretty painful so far. But we haven't even done the cuts yet. So. <laughs> Are you selling it to them or are you trying to lie? I'm just trying to speak to you, make myself uh, feel better. No, I don't feel anything. It's like you're writing on me and the writing is getting a bit more severe. Ow. So guys, I have to do on my temple here because my mom said so. I can't lie, it feels so weird. Like I can feel something like sucking my brain out. Mm. <laughs> 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 Oh, you didn't do that. No, that was it. Guys, five minutes in, and everywhere I walk, corner shop, everyone's just staring at me. So if you guys see these markings, inshallah, they should be gone in like a week, basically. After that hijama, this is what you need. Okay. So I just need to find a place to pray Dhuhr. I went to two masajids. I'm not blaming the mosques, but it's a bit annoying when they basically close the doors after Dhuhr. So now I need to find a place and just pray somewhere in the street here. Luckily, I somehow had this in my bag. So this is what it looks like. Before you guys say anything, I tried three massages. All of them are closed. I don't know why. It's a very weird time. And then I need to go on the bus, which is like an hour journey. So I'm literally, in terms of timing, worst timing ever. But regardless, you can pray anytime. Well, not anytime I meant 
anywhere. That's what I'm saying, guys. Inna salata kanat ala al-mu'minina kitaba mawkuta. So, anywhere, as long as it's clean. There's only six hours left of the day. As usual, I'm just going to bang out some AMAU. I'm going to do about three hours there, finish off this course that I'm doing. And then I'm also going to have three students, so three hours. And then that's going to be the rest of the day. Consistent, whether it's A, B, C or D. Let's say you go with false or let's say you go with option B. This is easy. All you got to do is look at the number 1952. You need to eyeball the data. What's all this smoke? What is this smoke? Wait well, guys, I found out. It looks like it's it's water. It's actually not smoke. It's, it's literally water. As I said, you can seek Islamic knowledge anywhere, even while eating breakfast. You guys know how it is. New day, same drink. So obviously today is Jumu'ah. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "Khairu yawmin talaat alayhi shams yawm al-Jumu'ah." The best day on which the sun has risen is the day of Friday. Fihi khulqa Adam wa fihi udhil al-Jannah wa fihi ukhrij minha. Wala taqum al-saat illa fi yawm al-Jumu'ah. Basically, is the day that Adam alayhi salam was created. He was made to enter Jannah, and he was expelled from the Jannah. And the day of judgment will not take place on any day, except the day of Friday. Basically, I'm walking right now, right, in the streets. So. I'm just uh, going to go meet up with the guys and I'm going to play some paddle for the first time. But one thing I was thinking is, I like to walk a lot, so on average I'll be taking like probably 12 to 15k steps on a normal day, right? So one of the things you can do to maximize your productivity while you're walking and you're actually getting in the steps, you can go and listen to as many podcasts as possible. They don't have to be Islamic really, uh, related, they could be related to other different topics. But just listen to something that gives you some sort of knowledge that you can then use this knowledge to spread Islam. So it's very, very important. Like, honestly, subhanAllah, when you think about it, timing is extremely important. Like, you don't want to waste your time. Your time is the most valuable asset that you have. So if you're walking and you can do your Quran revision or your Hadith revision or listen to something that's beneficial and productive, then always do that. So always have some sort of playlist that you can watch later on while you're walking so that you don't waste your time have something prepared that you can just listen to on the go look at these guys i'm literally walking randomly and these guys just pull up on me open the door guys come come yes sir bro i was walking for 40 minutes wallahi bro i need water stay hydrated we're literally gonna be playing paddle here guess what i just realized you know this place right here i did a hood by here did you guys you know what khutbah I'm talking about? The one in the football place. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the khutbah when I was like 16, 17, and it's right here, and I didn't realize it. And I'm probably going to put a clip of the khutbah here. But then I remember it was a, it's a bit of an awkward one. I remember I was giving a khutbah. My teachers were there, my male teachers, female teachers. And then I was talking about Hurul Ain, I remember, when I was talking about Jannah. Basically, the khutbah was on Jannah. But anyway, I'm going to put a quick link down there, and you guys can see a quick snippet of that uh, khutbah, which was like six years ago or something. And the angel, the gatekeeper of Jannah says, I have been commanded by Allah to not open the gates of Jannah, the gates of paradise for anybody before you. Just rent three. Oi! Oh! Oh! Yes! <laughs> Please! <laughs> I got that, I got that, I got that. Bro, Tora becomes Michael Jordan, bro. <laughs> this marshmallows are halal. And then... Good. Just trying not to fill myself up a bit too much. This ones are a must. This is my second plate. My plates are pretty small. Come on, guys. Oh, okay. oh look at the crab I took. It's got no crab. <laughs> sushi with hummus? Not bad. But I'm not a sushi man. Now it's time for the dessert, which is my favorite part. 
which I already had five times in between my meals. And these marshmallows, drop them here. I'm gonna drop it here. 